Let's get back to your weather now, shall we? A live look outside. We're taking you to the beach. This is Lincoln City from our Chinook Winds Beach camera. Drew, looks like a perfect day at the coast today. Yeah, uh, and you know, a little bit cooler down there in Lincoln City, kind of mid 60s, but okay. here we're in the 70s in oh, Seaside. Nice. So a nice, warm, but very comfortable day on the coast. We are a bit windy. We've got wind gusts 28 miles per hour, but not unusual there at the coast. You can see a lot of people out enjoying. Here's a look on our skyline camera here in Portland where it is 92 degrees. We've got a hot day today. You can also see that we do have haze in the sky once again. So as we take a look at our wildfire smoke, you can see uh, that is in the Portland area through tonight, but then kind of clearing out overnight into tomorrow. It will continue to be an issue into central and eastern Oregon, though, I think through tomorrow. Uh, but then once we get into Thursday morning, it looks like we could get a big push uh, of that wildfire smoke clearing out at least into the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is a surface level smoke map. Obviously, we don't have anything here in Portland, uh, but in Bend, in central Oregon, we do have issues with air quality potentially as surface level smoke gets pushed in, uh, mainly from that Cedar Creek fire. LaGrande, Baker City also seeing some issues into eastern Oregon with air quality. We do have an air quality advisory there right around Bend in parts of central Oregon until 2 o'clock on Thursday because of poor air quality from wildfire smoke. Also in Wallowa County, we have one until 2 o'clock on Thursday because of wildfire smoke. But for us here, uh, west of the Cascades, we are seeing kind of a cloudier start to tomorrow, some thin clouds to start your day. Uh, and we'll see that through the afternoon tomorrow as well. In the afternoon, it looks like we could see some thunderstorms popping up east of the Cascades, and then we clear out tomorrow night. We'll have maybe some patchy clouds for your Thursday morning, but mainly sunshine and lots of sunshine going into Friday. No issue with thunderstorms through the night tonight, but take a look at tomorrow. You can see quite a bit of eastern Oregon has a chance for some scattered thunderstorms. And even into further eastern Oregon and southeastern Oregon, there's a marginal risk for possibly a more severe thunderstorm. Of course, an issue with gusty winds and lightning if we were to see that uh, with the fire and dry conditions that we have right now. But we do have cooler temperatures over the next couple of days. Low 80s tomorrow, maybe even upper 70s on Thursday, about 79 degrees. Both days should be uh, fairly nice, part, kind of more partly cloudy tomorrow, but thin clouds. And then we do turn hot and sunny going into Friday. Also going to be windy. That is where we are going to be seeing some elevated fire danger that'll last for a couple days but we'll see temperatures right around 90 degrees i'll have more on the potential fire danger and what we're expecting into this coming weekend coming up in our second half hour nora